you know, was lazy with my footwork, didn't step into a lot of throws, which you have to do when, when it's as windy as it was on Sunday. So uh, there's a lot of different little fo footwork things that I can improve on. Joe, one thing that uh, these two opponents have in common, the Pittsburgh Steelers have a great defensive line and the Washington Redskins have five number one draft picks invested in their defensive line. I mean, it kind of starts up front for both defenses, doesn't it? Yeah, they're very, very talented, very athletic guys um, and a very underrated defense. They're number one pass defense in the league in terms of yards. So we're going to have our work cut out for us this week. I'm excited for the challenge. When you look at their back end uh, in, the, in the secondary, they, they went out in free agency and kind of redid that, that whole thing on the back end. How do they look to be playing in your eyes in turn, as a group? Very disciplined in their scheme. They don't give up a lot of big plays. Uh, they, when they play their quarters coverage, they keep everything in front of them and make you earn it all the way down the field, stay consistent throughout the entire drive. So they're very well coached and very disciplined. Joe, you were limping a little bit um, last game. Um, how's your ankle? I'm good to go. No, no residual problems from it? Nope, I'm good to go. Did that contribute at all to what you talked about not stepping into the throws? No. I understand that on the day you committed to Ohio State, uh, Urban Meyer called you and compared you to Alex Smith. Um, back, back then, like six years ago, what did that mean to you to hear that? Well, it was exciting for me because he was the number one overall pick. And so, you know, that's where I wanted to go and that's who I wanted to be. And obviously ended up happening. And so now – um, it's kind of exciting to get to play that guy. Uh, I think it'll it'll be a lot of fun to have a conversation with him on Sunday. You've been compared to a lot of quarterbacks. I'm curious, do you when did you stop paying attention to comparisons, and what do comparisons even mean in the NFL? Um, you know, they. I think the media likes to to make the comparisons because everyone likes to um, compare people. That's what a lot, a lot of that business is about. Um, and then. Everyone is their own player, but a lot of guys have similarities as well. Um, so I, I've never really paid attention to them too much, but I think we're very similar in terms of our path and our game. Joe, how impressed are you for uh, Alex Smith uh, in his comeback and the way he's come back from that uh, uh, horrific leg injury? I think it was pretty incredible. Um, I don't know if you guys watched the – was it uh, – in these 60, 60 minutes, the little documentary thing that they had on him, you know, that was pretty pretty fun to watch and pretty incredible what he did. Joe, you mentioned uh, the Baltimore game was learning experience for you, and then you went on the road the next week to Indianapolis and played well. The offensive line had an unbelievable first quarter in that game. Now, you know, the Pittsburgh situation, you're on the road again to Washington. Do you expect the same type of rebound performance out of everybody? You know, I do. I think we're going to have a good week of practice. We're going to be prepared and we're going to go in there and I think we're going to play our game. Um, you know, nobody's, we're not going to hang on what happened last week. Obviously, everyone knows that we need to be better and that we have things to fix. Um, but I, I think we're going to respond to the challenge. So, uh, how well do you know uh, Chase Young and uh, did you get to spend any time with him at the Heisman and? Uh... <laughs> I know him fairly well. You know, we were there together at Ohio State for, for one year, I think. He was came in early, and so, you know, we had a spring ball and a fall camp and a season together, and then another spring ball. So, you know, we spent some time together, spent some time together in New York as well, so we know each other. What uh, what, what do you like about his uh, – how would you describe him as a player? One of a kind. He's a rare talent that is going to just continue to get better every single game and every year. What do you have to look out for him? You know, is there anything in particular? What is he? What does he do that jumps off the table? You got to be careful that he doesn't uh, do on uh, Sunday. You know, he's really athletic. I, you just always have to have a game plan for those kind of guys. You know, give them presence, chip them, throw a lot of different things their way. Thank you. Joe, it's also kind of interesting, this game, it's, it's going to feature you and Dwayne Haskins in a weird way. Obviously, you guys competed for the starting job in 2018. I mean, do you ever think about the path that both of you guys have been on and kind of the status for each one of you guys heading into this game? 
No, I don't really think about it too much. Just focused on what I need to do on Sunday to get the win. Hey, Joe, out, outside of the obvious wins and losses, how, how will you measure success over the final seven weeks of the season for you personally and for the team? Wins and losses? <laughs> <laughs> Beyond that. You know, I think we have a chance to to win some games here at the end of the year, and we know we all know it. And so th this this stretch of games is exciting for us, you know, to to build some momentum going into the into the off season. But you know, you don't want to look ahead and, and and think about the record at the end of the year. You just want to focus on getting better every day at practice and then performing well on Sundays. Yo, I understand what you meant when you said. You know, lazy with your feet, not stepping into throws, being as crisp as you uh, would hope to have been. When you said lazy with your eyes, meaning that you were seeing it, but just not as sharp as you wanted to be, not as quickly as you needed to do it? Or what were you thinking? Yeah. Or what do you mean when you say lazy? You know, my decision making wasn't as sharp as it was. I was seeing the coverage, but I wasn't as, um, like, things weren't clicking for me as fast as they normally do. You know, usually it goes safeties, coverage, play route ball and it was just a little slower than it usually is for me is that something that they did no you know they i mean they're a really good defense um they did a lot of different they didn't do any any different things than we expected except for a couple of things on third down that they threw our way um that was unexpected they played a little double double which you know they're doubling um tyler boyd and then um the single receiver to the boundary whoever that ended up being so that was a little different, but you know, after that, we, they did what we expected, and um, you know, I just w wasn't as crisp as I normally am. As two more minutes with Joe. You mentioned that they didn't run a ton of coverages, but what they ran, they ran very well and very efficiently. How does Washington fit into that scope? Do they run a lot of different things, or are they just a few things and doing well as well? They just do a, f a few things and do them really well. Um, you know, you can tell that they're very well coached. Um, you know, Jack Del Rio does a great job with those guys and, and make sure that they know what their job is on each play and understanding the weaknesses of the coverages that they play. How Joe, helpful, how helpful will, will it be to get Joe Mixon back in the backfield? You know, I think Joe's a, a special player that can help in a lot of different ways. So, you know, I know he's, he's hurrying to get back and, and doing everything that he can. So we, we, we'll be excited to have him. Joe, if you guys are able to pick up a few wins um, and end the, end the season on a strong note, what kind of impact will that have on, on the foundation y'all are trying to build uh, for 2021 and beyond? It'll just validate the hard work that we put in this year. You know, we're working really hard to get these wins. You know, they haven't shown, shown up too much. Um, you know, we got a big one a couple weeks ago. But, you know, we're working really hard within the building to, to get these wins. And, you know, we want to deliver it to the fans. Is this the longest you've gone without shaving? And what do you think of the beard that you have going? Yes, yes, it ha yes, it is. Um, you know, some people like it, and some people are making fun of me because it looks like I'm a a 13 year old kid who hasn't shaved in a couple of months. But um, I'm gonna ride with it. You know, I kind of like it. it kind of makes me feel like a an adult. You know, I haven't felt that way in a long time. What does your mom think? She hasn't given an opinion one way or the other. Um, you know, I haven't seen her in a couple of weeks, but I'm sure that she'll say something along the lines of, like, um, you know, she'll usually go, "What do you think of the beard?" And then she'll just like look at me like that. She'll never, she won't want, she won't say she wants me to shave it or keep it. She'll just kind of look at me, and we kind of know what that means. Do you have any shot for a Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, type? Uh... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get there. You know, maybe maybe one day. I'm hoping. Uh, there, I, I, yeah, one, one also, since we're kind of on this track here, I, I, there was, there was, I saw that you uh, enjoy some John Mayer pregame. Uh, yeah. What's your best go-to John Mayer pregame track, just out of curiosity? You know, I'm not a, a huge John Mayer fan, so I'm not like super, in, I don't know like the names of the songs too much, but I just like his sound pregame because it just calms me down. Um, so I just get on Apple Music and put his top, top hits on there and let it roll.